In this tutorial, we shall simulate <coughs> our distillation process uh, using sponheisis. This is an example. Uh, this is taken from uh, this book. Uh, so, in this example, we have uh, a plate column. Uh, it is uh, equipped with the total condenser, and uh, we have a partial catatype ray boiler. And uh, the feed is 100 kmol per hour. It contains benzene and toluene. 50% of the feed is benzene and uh, in this state we want 95% pure benzene and uh, in the bottom product benzene should not exceed the 5% and uh, the column is operated at 101.3 kPa <coughs> the feed is partially vaporized as a, and uh, is one third vapor and two thirds are liquid uh, so we are asked to determine the minimum number of plates minimum reflux ratio and the number of plates if the operating reflux ratio is 30% in excess of the minimum and the feed location uh, the feed plate location so we are going to solve this example in s hyaces so open s uh, this is the case new case and uh, now we are in the s hyaces properties environment so first we shall add the components we have two components one is benzene and uh, one is a toluene benzene and uh, toluene the components are added now we shall add the uh, fluid package so let's select the finger mention fluid package then go to the <coughs> simulation and in the simulation, uh, we shall add the uh, uh, column. Uh, go to the model palette. Go to the uh, separator and uh, select the shortcut column. Okay, place it here. Now double click on the column and uh, let this is the feed. <coughs> Determined by F, the condenser duty is QC, the reboiler duty is uh, QR, the distillate is denoted by D, the top product, and the bottom product is uh, B. <coughs> now, uh, in the worksheet, <coughs> uh, we shall uh, specify the streams. So, we are uh, given the vapor fraction so is in the uh, you can see here these are the the feed is partially vaporized as is one one third is vapor and two thirds are liquid so one third is vapor so it means that i will light here zero vapor friction is 0 0.33 and temperature is not given uh, it will calculate temperature for us we are given the pressure which is 101 and 3 kilopascal so bar I convert into kilopascal the molar flow rate is uh, 100 kilomole per hour okay and the composition so we are given that composition is 50% uh, benzene and the 0 0.5 50% calvin okay <clears throat> and we are also given that uh, uh, in the distillate the benzene is 95% uh, so this is 0 0.95 and uh, now the toluene is obviously this is a 0 0.05 uh, and uh, here uh, in the bottom we are given that uh, the bottom contains 0 0.05 or 5% of benzene and 95% uh, in the bottom is a uh, uh, toluene 95 So we have provided the composition of the feed, <coughs> the distillate and the bottom. Now uh, go to the design and uh, go to the parameters. So light key in the bottom, light key in the bottom is uh, benzene and this is actually 0.05% benzene is in the bottom and heavy key in the distillate is a toluene and this is 0 0.05 is given in the, uh, the statement the formula statement huh? 
<coughs> so the condenser pressure is 101.3 kilopascal this is given and this is also given 101.3 kilopascal the boiler pressure huh? the column at operate at the atmospheric pressure so we have it uh, uh, provided this uh, atmospheric pressure which is 1.013 bar or 1.3 kilopascal hmm. now it has calculated the minimum reflux ratio for us this is the minimum reflux ratio 1.48 huh? 1.48 is the minimum reflux ratio in the question they have uh, they have uh, they have given that uh, the number of plates if the operating reflux ratio is 30 percent huh? 30 percent in excess of the minimum so what should be the number of plates if this is 30 percent in excess of the minimum Okay, uh, we shall come that uh, we shall come to that later. Now you can see that this is 1.4 at minimum reflux ratio, and the uh, go to the performance. And here you can see the minimum number of plates. The minimum number of plates are uh, 6.901. Now uh, the external reflux ratio is 30% uh, in excess of the minimum, so its value is. 1.93 1.9305 enter and uh, it's assigned to green which means that uh, the problem is now simulated now you can see from here the performance the minimum number of plates are 6.901 the actual number of uh, plates are the trays 14.9 or you can say 15 and this is the feed plate 7.45 this is the uh, feed uh, plate so we have the temperature of condenser and we have the uh, temperature of reboiler and uh, these are the flows of the rectifier paper the rectifier liquids the stepping vapor stepping liquid the condenser duty this is the condenser duty and these are the uh, reboiler duty <coughs> now go again to the worksheet and then and now you can see that uh, all the properties are the district and the bottom they are now the, uh, simulated and uh, you can see all the properties the flow rates the, uh, the flow rates the mole friction and other parameters here thank you very much